Hello, we are live. Today is April 13th, 2017. And I have with me Andy and Infinite. Hello. I will meditate for a minute and bring Yogananda. <clears throat> Today I will speak about inner peace. The world is changing and it is very important to be able to come to inner peace in your heart, in your body, in your soul, in your mind. In these times, as the world is changing, as things start shifting, you might feel a liberation. The time now is the time of the social crisis. It is the time of moral crisis. It is the time of darkness. But this darkness is a time before the dawn. It is a time before the sunrise. Many of you feel sad. Many of you feel stuck. Many of you feel depressed. And it is the energy of the time. That is what the collective sends you, the collective vibration sends you. It is all right. The change is coming. And this thing, as the things start changing, as the dominoes start falling, you may feel a liberation. You may feel an elevation. You may catch 
You may catch a wave moving up. You may catch a wave uplifting your spirit. When the time is of crisis, it is hard to stay high. It is hard, hard to uplift yourself. But it is possible. But when the time is changing, when the society is changing, when there is a destruction of institution, desperation of the masses, as a light worker, you might find yourself at peace. You might find yourself uplifted. Because that is your time coming. You see, there is so few of you. There is so few of us. You are so different from the majority. You are so different from the majority. Awaken to that understanding. The collective desperation is not yours. The collective depression is not yours. Your time is coming. Of course, it is your choice to ride the wave of ascension. But it is a divine invitation to help the Divine Mother, to help the planet, to help the race of human, to ra the race of Homo sapiens, to help the divine governing of friends, to help the ascended masters, the angelics, to uplift the vibration of the planet, to uplift the humanity from despair, to uplift the dimensionality of this matrix. You have been invited, you are constantly invited to play in this divine role. You see, the life is a dream. You are dreaming, and your dream is about to be upgraded. Welcome it, embrace it. So when you see the change, when you see the destruction, Realize, it is the destruction of the old world. It is part of the game. It is part of the transformation. It is part of the ascension. Your role is to keep the vibration high, to hold the vibration, to form a network, a grid of light workers, and hold the prayer, hold the hope, and uplift people around you. So when things are crazy around, it is your labor to keep the peace in your heart. It is close to impossible, but it is possible. It is what you can do. Peace in your heart when things are crazy around. And this peace, this knowing, this wisdom, this balance is exactly what is needed for the transformation. Because the transformation cannot resolve positively in a state of fear, cannot resolve positively in a state of fight. It can resolve positively only in a state of inner peace. 
So keep breathing and smile no matter what. I invite comments and questions if you have any. Hello there, teacher. Hello. You do recognize me and my family we've been with you before. We have one person who wants to ask you something. This is from my daughter. Teacher, can you hear me? Hi. My name is Jillian and I want to know about me. How does your teaching really apply to me as a child? Because I'm a draconian child. I'm so small. The general principle, yes. Thank you for asking. The general principle, yes. Even in the middle of a big change, being balanced in your heart is essential. The state of crisis is about the earth. It is about the state of the collective humanity. It might not apply to you directly, but the principle of peace in the heart is essential for, it's universal, it's essential for the universe. But there's the answer. My mom and dad is living on earth. And I know that I really care about my mom and my dad. I wanted to know that I kind of found out. I just, just I got so sad when that mom was there. Her frugal baby is not going to tell. I sense a part of her is coming to dad. I'm just sad now. Mm -hmm. How can I have a mom again? Is there any other question? I just want to know how can I help my mom and the other business. I don't even want to be here in a different place with my mom and dad because I was like, oh, mom. Mm, there is a sound quality problem. I understand that you want to help mom. With what problem? How can I help her be a better, more badass person? You have changed me. I, I, I have helped this this day. Since my great grand body, I don't know how to help mom. To help mom to do what? I want her to be at balance and at peace. You want her to help her to be at peace? Yes. Oh, thank you. She's not feeling well. I'm sad. Daddy is sad. He has gone through and went in. <laughs> the 
The first principle is that the children can do only that much. It is your priority to develop yourself. It is your priority to offer as much as you can, but not more than that. Mm -hmm. As you are a child, don't overburden yourself. Your priority is to develop yourself and help your parents as much as you can, but not more than you can. Don't go beyond your healthy limits. And as advice to your mother, the main advice is to relax. That's the main mantra. Even if you have to move, even if you have to achieve things, relaxation is first. Even during the flight, even during the fight, even during their important work, rel relaxation is a must. Relax, relax, relax. Don't force yourself, don't force anyone. Relax into knowing, relax into understanding, relaxed into the divine wisdom, relaxed into the divine guidance. Mm -hmm. What is to be, is to be. Mm -hmm. Be a weapon in the hands of the divine universe essence. Be the worker of the universe. Be the con conduit of the creator's intention. Follow your heart. Follow your inner knowing. Be at peace inside and don't worry. Be at peace. Wow. Mm. This is Alexander speaking to you. Thank you for teaching this to my daughter. I am so proud of her for her caring heart. Thank I you for asking. What you have speak to me. For my life and for myself and for my family. Any more questions or comments? I will move forward with my message. The key for the transformation, the key for inner peace is inside. It is in your mind, it is in your heart, and it is in your body. It is in your stomach, it is in your breathing, it is in your hands and legs, it is in your body. So being within your body, finding the peace in your body is essential it is the key to the work of transformation no matter what you want to achieve no matter what is your driving force it happens through your body you see the life is a dream a life is a program which is run by your soul the whole world is a program which is run by your soul. It happens in your soul and through your body. Your soul is dreaming your body and the world around it. But the world around it manifests through your body. It is the view which is 
very contrary to the 3D view, but it is the key for understanding the law of attraction, the key for the understanding of ascension, the key for achieving the inner peace. Inner peace starts from your physiology. Inner peace comes to fruition, comes to the manifestation through your breathing, through your eating, through your drinking, through your movement, through your physiology. It is your organs, your blood that is part of the ascension of the humanity. It is your DNA which is part of the ascension. You need to bring the inner peace into your physiology, into your blood, into your into the water, which is the basis of liquid crystal, liquid crystal of your blood. It is through the water, which is the basis of the liquid crystal of the DNA. DNA is surrounded by water. It brings the peace to the DNA. It is the united crystal which contains consists of water and the dna molecule that crystal has to come into the inner peace not only in 3d but throughout the dimensions throughout many dimensions so it starts from you working with your mind and with your physiology, bringing the peace into your physiology. So, keep smiling, keep breathing, and bring the peace to yourself. Any comments, questions? Okay, do you have anything about Syria? About what? It is a wake-up call for you and even more for the others, even more for the majority, even more for the mainstream. It doesn't matter whether you follow the news or don't. At the moment, unless you are in the area of the war in the area which is affected, you may just skim the news and that is what I would suggest. I have lived through the wars. I have lived through huge historical transformations. You have to do what you have to do. You have to filter out what is not yours. You have, you, you have an option to pick and choose your focus of attention. And your focus of attention could be the inner peace. And the more destruction, the more war happens outside the more you could focus on the inner peace, the more you could work on the transformation of the 
humanity, the more you can uphold the vibration. While everybody is in disarray, when there is fight outside, it is just an uh, awakening call for you that you are not part of the fight. You are not part of them. You are separate. Your vibration is separate. While the savages engage in lower chakra activity, first, second, third, the war and the, the survival, first chakra survival, third chakra war, while the humanity is involved in anger, it is not yours. You are not alone. You are guided. There is a strong angelic presence around you. There is a strong ascended master presence around you. There is a direction. There is a direct communication. There is direct line from the creator to you and you are being guided there is a team of spirit guides who are guiding you so if your spirit guides want you to look at the news do them a favor look at the news scheme what is needed for you receive the message and follow the guidance it's your choice, but that is what light workers do to help ascension. Help by follow the guidance and working diligently, working hard in upholding the vibration, working through inner physiology by upholding the vibration, finding the inner peace and holding that vibration for the whole humanity you undergo many transformations and the war is one of the wake-up calls for your inner transformation so you don't have to do much outside except transform inside find that inner peace inside and see the light beyond the darkness when the darkness surrounds you. You hold the light. You uphold the light. And you look for other lights. Look for the positive future beyond the war. The peace is out there. And the more the current paradigm falls apart, the clearer is the idea of the peace. You are desperate now because the old system didn't fall yet. When it cracks, through the cracks, you will see the light. It will become obvious that their future beautiful earth, the future humanity, the ascended humanity is very close. It's just invisible yet because the whole old system is standing blocking it but when it cracks you will see it it will be obvious when other people lose their faith when the mainstream people lose their integrity of confusion now they're collectively confused they're that anger so far is in resonance and is synchronized through the mass media. Brainwashing helps the collective confusion of the humanity. When it cracks, there will be less unity. And when there is no unity, the unity of light workers will overcome. It will prevail because it is carrying the divine plan, performing the divine divine work. It is kind of obvious. You already can see the... Before the sunrise, there are a few rays of light coming out. You can see the clouds being pink. You can see that the, the sun will come out soon. 
it will come out soon. Filters. Set up your filters. Your automatic filtering systems. Your automatic emotional assignments. Uh, automatic, automatic value system of values. Recalibrate your system of values so you can function in a state of collective disarray. Recalibrate your system of values. You can exist. It is a game. This dream is a computer game in which you always have a choice. You always are guided. There is always some sort of an exit. You are a hero which is guided by friends here, down below, and above. You are not alone. You are protected by the veil, and there is an illusion of being alone, but you are not. You are being helped in great many ways. So recalibrate your system of values, especially work with your emotions. And recalibrate your emotions so you become stronger and more at peace in any circumstances. Mm. Connect to your childhood. Remember your childhood. Tell the story of your childhood to your friend. Write your memories. Connect to your childhood because that is where you recalibrate your system of values and it is there it is where you discover the guidance you discover that you have been guided all that time until now does it help did do you have any more questions comments no, no, at this time. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 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 Hi, Yoganada. This is Shanti. Hi, Shanti. Blessings to you. Say again. Blessings. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Much love. Much love. Much peace. Peace and love. Peace and uh, love. Nice uh, to hear your voice. Thank, thank you. I wanted to call. Uh, how do you have him? He died. Uh, he it was yeah, If you have him, I need to you. Um, there is a sound interruption. Can you repeat your question, please? I heard the word first. Hari Hari Nanda, who was my sister, who was in the yoga, I hear he has left his church and was wanting to get to speak with you. You were wondering that someone is with me. Who, 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 who is with me? Hari Hari Nanda was initiated by Yukteswar. And I'm mentioning Yukteswar. Yukteswar initiated Hari Hari Nanda in yoga. Mm -hmm. And Hari Hari Nanda initiated me in yoga. And I hear you that he had an emphasis and was one of the people was close. I think um, that question is intentionally blocked. It is not me who is blocking that, but it doesn't come through. Um, I okay. think it is not the question to discuss at the moment. How about we move to the next question? Wait, do you have any messages for me, Yogananda? Absolutely, yes. Hold on a second. Thank you.
<laughs> we are absolutely happy for your progress. Thank you. You are doing amazingly well. Thank you. Don't be discouraged by the lessons. The lessons are here by design. The lessons are brought to you by you. It is you who bring yourself to the lessons. Take it easy, take it as simple tests. Just learn your lesson, smile and move forward. Learn the next lesson, smile and move forward. You're doing great. We are happy that you are coming on a straight path. It's much more straight, much more positive, much more energized. Be ready for the flow of energy to increase a lot. It is all yours to take. So don't burn yourself. Keep breathing. Take it easy. And every day it will be an increase in energy. Every day it will be increase in energy, which will burn. But it is for you to accept through your physiology. You either transform and learn how to accept the energy or it burns you. So be ready to accept it. And of course, control how much you load on yourself. Well, but it is in your hands. We are very happy that you're moving forward and you straighten up and simplify your energy flow. Your pattern becomes way more harmonized. I will send you the green ray of light for your heart. To be dominant as it is dominant a green of ray of light to purify and harmonize even more what you have um i feel Bobby's presence i love Bobby. i love you thank you lovely too you gave me all my kids, yoga. I am part of you, you are part of me. Yes, I am. Been for a long time, dear. And I read your book and I've been with you ever since. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are one. You feel yes. me because I am part of you. I feel you because you are part of me. Much joy, much joy. Take it easy and keep happy working. Keep working in a happy mood. Thank you. Thank you, Yogananda, for the encouragement. Yes, I do get discouraged, but thanks to you, Babaji, and the light and love, I keep it strong. And I know that all of the gifts that you give to me, it has helped me on my path, and I will keep. We are with you. We are with you. We are part of you. Discover us in your heart. We are there. We are sending you the wind of love. Lots of wind. Lots of fire. It's up to you to catch it. I will. You have as much as you wish. I will. I can take it. You know, I must feel mine. <laughs> 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 Thanks to you, Kriya Yoga. I am Anna. Blessings. Blessings. Are there any more questions? Yes. Thank you. Uh, okay. This is the first time I talk to you. Hi. Uh, I would like. You know, how can I get in touch more with my 
guys. But communicate more with them. How are you currently communication with the guides? What's your practice? I just try to talk to them. Do you feel their presence? Yes. Do you feel their answers? Sometimes. What is your other practice of connecting to their divine energies? That's all. Mm. How is your diet? Yes, I eat whatever I eat. But I like like veggies and a little bit of meat. That's all. That's all. How do you communicate with the nature? A little bit. What is your way of communicating with the nature? I just go outside and talk to the wind. And the Do you meditate? Yes. Okay, not outside. Say again? No outside. Only in my room. I see. <sighs> Did you try to develop healing abilities? Uh, yes, but I don't know where to start. I mean, I have, but I don't know where to go, what, what, what to, who to trust, I mean, like, like there is so much out there that I don't know who, where I have to go, you know? I see. Do you dance? No. Do you? Are you singing? No. I see. Are you praying? Yes. Do you work with the pendulum? No. That would be the simplest. Okay. Just find on YouTube a few instructions how to work with the pendulum and start with that. Okay. It is a simple toy which might work for you, might not work for you, but it is moving you in the right direction. Just that oscillation, the turning clockwise, counterclockwise, back and forth. It is powerful, powerful by itself. It is something which brings you a, a good model of thinking, a good model of tuning to your inner feelings, inner spiritual work. Start with a pendulum. Make it by yourself, you don't have to buy it. It's just a stream and a piece of heavy material on the bottom, that's all. Spin it, spin it, and work with the spin. It's very easy, and it brings you the sense of how do you achieve inner peace through the movement, through the movement. It's not static, it is peace in the movement. And ask questions, start asking questions more and feel the answer. Don't expect it to come through the sound. Don't expect it to come through the light. 
don't expect it to come through physical sensations, but just expect the answer to come as knowing, as a feeling first. And from there you grow. It is like a plan which you want to grow. And uh, when you do your simple works, like di washing dishes, cooking, working, doing other stuff, cleaning, keep inviting, at that moment, inviting your guides, your favorite masters, your favorite energies, your favorite saints, your favorite avatars of divine energy, the earth, the sky, the elements, the divine mother, whoever is, whoever you feel attracted to. Invite me too, if you like. I will be happy to come and feel our energies. And you grow from there. It is very simple. It doesn't have to be complex. It is very simple. It is the devotion, the desire, and acceptance. Accept. We are there. It's not that we are not there. We are near you. We are inside you. We are everywhere. We are offering and waiting for you to accept. We are offering our energies, our advice, our support. It's up to you to accept. And whenever you are ready, we are ready too. Time is for us not a problem. So whenever you are in the right state, we will be there. We are attracted at any moment by your invitations. But of course, we have our free choice as well. And some of us might step forward and come to you and be proactive. So don't be surprised. As you invite us, we come. I will give you also I will give you also a tool for you and for everyone who is listening, a way to invite the help from your guides. Just put your hands together and blow between them as if there was a little fire which you want to feed with your air. You give it more air, you blow to make it stronger. So gently blow in between your hands. And then expect the answer in your mind, in your heart, in your body. We will come through your inner feelings. Inner, inside. We will come inside, through inside. Not from outside, we will come from inside. We enter through your spine. Whenever is a good entrance, we enter through one of the vertebrae of your spine, maybe to your heart, maybe to your neck, maybe to your head. We enter through the vibration of your electrophysiology. So we enter through your body, transdimensionally, and accept us and interpret us. We are talking in your language, the language of their understanding. So get, obtain this understanding. We are sending it to you. As you invite us, we come. Thank you for inviting. Thank you. Thank you. That was very insightful and useful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for asking. Om 
Any more questions today? Thank you very much for being here. Go ahead. Hi, Shanti. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> I wanted to know once uh, all this uh, flame uh, comes through me, will I be able to uh, work with it so that I can also uh, channel you or Babishi soon? Um, I didn't get one word. What did you say? Pain. The flame of life. Oh, flame, flame. Uh, will I be able to work with it uh, and be able to channel? You? Yes. And yes, both of us are available. It's up to you to take it. Okay. 23 courses, and will I be able to learn it by myself? You might use some initiations from others, or you might get it yourself. It's up to you. It is possible to get it through initiations inside your mind inside your imagination you don't really have to physically connect but physical connection energetic upgrade would be beneficial if you can get it from others it could be through humans or through plants or through animals or through stones you need a few upgrades towards that direction to tune into our energy better but it's easy and achievable. Thank you for asking. Can you help me? Can you help me? Absolutely, yes. Okay, I just need to call on you, Yogananda. All right now, call on me right now and breathe in and smile. <laughs> and if you have to cough, cough it out. There are a few blockages. I will just give you a tune in. Um, Oh, Hmm. Where, a few things. Go ahead. Where is this blockage? I can continue working on it. Absolutely. A few things that block you are um, traumas of your past life traumas and this life traumas. Your self perception is still. of vulnerable anger vulnerability is good but anger is not when you get more into the state of peace and acceptance of yourself when you get in the state of better forgiveness of yourself or and of, of the others when you are happy about yourself, no matter what, these blockages will go away. So the main message for you from us is be happy no matter what. Be happy with yourself and believe that nothing can harm you. No one can harm you. So don't be in a hurry. Take your time. Take your energy, it's all yours, and shine no matter what. When you don't feel threatened, 
you will be able to connect to us much easier. Um, 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 um. Oh, that was a pretty simple idea. I can work on that, Yogananda. <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting us. And with that, I will finish the today session. I'll come again. Thank you very much for asking. Thank you very much for inviting. Thank you very much for listening. I am with you always. We are with you always. Time is not a barrier for us. Whenever you invite us, whenever you accept us, we are there. Peace be with you. May you find peace in any situation, in any state. Find the inner peace. Peace is yours. Amen. Hey, hey. I Thank feel good. You. That was nice. That was awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, gifts from your Canada. So he gives you gifts. Well received gifts usually. There is something with the sound today. Sound comes to me very, very dis 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 I can't even speak. I, Broken. I try <laughs> slowly too. The sound. I don't know. That's all right. All right, I will have to go now. It's 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 getting late, and um, I still feel good, but the energy is running out. So, thank you. Thank you, Max. And, thank and, you, uh, Carol, and thank you, Infinite. Did you give my message? Um, <laughs>